I'm back with another Etsy video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how I find profitable niches on Etsy. So the first thing that we do is we go on over to Etsy and we start using the search bar. Now for people like me who don't want to connect things like Shopify to their account, I'm solely focused on selling digital products. So all we do is come into the search bar and start searching for ideas. So this little plugin that sits here, this nice little cute B, shows you an estimated amount of monthly searches for that search term. That is a tool called Everbee. And so Everbee just sits here on the left-hand side and it plugs in directly to Etsy. So to get going, we're trying to find digital products that we can sell. So straight away, we've got things like digital prints, digital planner, digital art, and then the best way to go about it is to just go through the alphabet. So start with digital A, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to niche down a little bit and try and find areas that have a decent amount of searches, but probably aren't super competitive, like digital art's gonna have tens of thousands. So let's say if I clicked on digital art, you can see here 1000 plus results, and it's gonna be super, super hard to rank for any of those search terms. So instead of that, we're gonna go through and see if anything kind of stands out as something that we could create. So you've got digital birthday invitation. So that's got almost a thousand searches a month. And you know, it does look like quite a competitive niche. So I'm gonna keep on going. But you could stay in digital birthday space. You could do digital birthday cards and have a little look around there. But let's keep going and see what else comes up. So going all the way through to S, Digital Stickers has 1,608 monthly searches. And it's quite easy product to make. So going on to this, you've got a lot of results again, but you've also got a lot of search volume. So you could narrow this down further if you want by doing the same method. So going A, B, C, D through Digital Stickers. So let's do this one, for example. So Digital Stickers Animal has 191 monthly searches. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna see what appears. Now, we found our niche that we wanna try and create products for. So all we're gonna do now is have a little look at the products that are available. So you've got some really, really good results on here. And what you'd wanna try and do is differentiate yourself. So you wanna try and create something better, something bigger, something you know different than what's already out there. So one way of doing that might be trying to target a different age range. This person here has got a good idea there doing kawaii stickers. So again, we could have a look at digital kawaii stickers. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with animal for now. But yeah, this one's got 130 cute animal stickers, 300, but they are pretty basic. So now what I'll do is use Everbee to, you know, take a little bit more of an in-depth data-driven approach around this search term. So all you do is go onto the side and click product analytics. So this is going to look at all of these listings that appeared here for digital stickers animal. It says here you can search the entire database of 49 million plus listings, but we're just gonna take this first page for now. So the average price of all of these that are appearing on the first page is six US dollars. So that straight away tells you your price that you need to be setting it at, you know, in order to, you know, compete with the other products here. The average amount of monthly sales for the products on this first page is 45. And we can utilize this table here and we can search by the product that gets the most monthly sales. So this one at the top gets the most monthly sales out of everything. But scrolling down, you can see all of the ones that get a good amount of sales. And say if we want it to include the word animals we'll just put that in the filter and now we can see the one that gets the most sales is this animal mega bundle and then that one is listed for five us dollars gets 42 sales a month and makes a monthly revenue of 221 us dollars you can see what category it's being listed in you can see the conversion rate the total amount of sales the shop's got etc but what I would note from having a look here is that the whilst the top two are selling, the ones below that are, don't seem to be selling that well. So I would say that this is probably not the most profitable niche just from looking around here. So we are going to change the search term 
and we're just going to look at digital stickers instead. So analyzing that kind of broader niche, we can see that the kind of broader areas of digital stickers is getting a lot more sales. So this is looking at the first page of search results. And what we can do here is click the tag analyzer. And so when you're creating a listing on Etsy, you have to include your keywords. And what this is absolutely brilliant at is helping you to find profitable keywords that are actually working for other people out there. And what I like to do here is rank by the keyword score. So you're gonna get some uh, keywords here which you know are a little bit nonsensical, but having a look here, you can see the amount of searches per month, the amount of competition, and then that's going to set the keyword score. So for things like this one, you can see that's a mistyping because it's Mimo Pad sticklers. So whilst you've only got a five competition, you get less than 20 searches a month, which is understandable. So you can also put a filter in there. So you can do the volume contains at least 20. So there we go. So now we've got our keyword score. It's not listing anything below 20 searches a month. And we can find here our keywords that we can start to target. So we've got digital sticker bundle, all one words getting 20 searches a month and not much competition. You've got biology stickers. So we could copy that keyword and have a little look at that. We've also got things like life planner sticker, boho aesthetic, chick stickers, Christmas stickers and to do stickers. So you've got some great ideas there just by looking around on this product analytics tool. But going back to Etsy, let's take a look at the bi biology stickers that we just found. So this is what the biology stickers look like. So they're really cool, interesting, you know, anatomy, cell organisms, the kind of science area could be quite a nice little niche to target in on. And it's as simple as that. When I'm trying to find an area, find, trying to find a niche to sell on Etsy, this is what I do. I go on the search bar, I utilize Everbee, and I search around and see if there's anything that kind of pops out as it's interesting, that's selling, that's getting a lot of searches, but doesn't have a lot of competition. If you wanna try out Everbee for yourself, there's a link in the description below. You get a free trial, so it's worth just having a play, see if you like it. But yeah, really useful, and hopefully it will help you to get more sales on Etsy. That's it for this little quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.